Hi guys, this is Yard Vlog 12 and I have some sad news I thought I'd share just as video diary for the future. 23rd of July my father passed away at the age of 89 and he was an inspirational legend to me. I spent pretty much every day with him around the farm. Even after work when I was working I'd pop in for at least an hour and do something or just be talking. But the last year and a half, he was really fighting in on us with art, uh, art failure. But he had a good long life, 89, that's what I think of it. And the last, like I said, year and a half, was the quality of life wasn't very good. So, Dad, I know you've gone to a better place. And one day, we'll meet up again. So, I don't want to make it too morbid. But, um, so the last week has been a real challenge for me. I just can't do anything, that's why I haven't done no videos, to be honest with you. Even building up to this, like I said, behind the scenes, it's been a really roller coaster ride for me. Of, with the illness, with him back and forth to hospitals, a lot. Um, but like I said, keep all that to yourself. But I just thought I'd share this bit of information as a bit of a tribute to my dad. I absolutely love, like, with all my art. He was a real character, really dry, wicked sense of humour. And a talented man too. He was in the army. He was a carpenter. Just and a farmer. He was a real inspiration. Like everything I learnt, I learnt from him. So anyway, that's enough of that. So that's the sad bit of the way. Let's do a bit of a talk and a walk and show some of the stuff I've been doing or haven't been doing because of the, the extreme heat. It's been killing all the grass which I think has affected a lot of people this year. A lot of uh, gardeners, I think, would have lost a lot of money. I guess, well, I've lost two weekly loans. I'm worried, because I've had so much other things on the go. I do most of my jobs at edge work, to be honest with you. Oh, let me show you by now. I had that much work on the last few weeks with uh, like grass clippings. So I bring everything with me, really, back. And some of the big edge jobs, you would have seen the jobs, the videos. The yard bit I was full. I had about 10 ton bags here. And I'm not lying now, 10 ton bags of stuff and a pile, I reckon, three link box fulls. So I'm just moving some of the last bits now to take them up the field. And this is what I do. I just grab them like this, the ton bags. And I put all the small clippings on the back there. And just take them up and check them in the pile I got then. I got a big pile. And when I mean big, I'll do a video on that one day. Been here for a few years now, but it just looks terrible. Everything's just burnt. Not good at all. And I think it'll take a while to come back. What must do? We'll do a top of that edge, don't we? This tree, like I mentioned it before. Look at that. We're dying on the one side. Fuck. And that middle one. So I'll have to come down. So that'd be a job for the winter. I was going to just take all them branches off. But um, it's going to make that much mess. As long as I can't see being pulled over by them. And I'll wait till they fall anyway. And then just we'll just take you down then. Another thing I thought I'd mention, I think I'd better add. I wear all these tops. These blue and white and red ones. It's not the same top. I know I got them on most videos. But I got four of these. Just in case people think I got the same top on all the time. I, I like these that much, these Patrick's. They're good quality. So I bought four, so that's like my, my uniform. Anyway, look up on ya. Be honest, I haven't seen it looking this bad. A dead mess of it. But uh, once it grows back now. I still haven't got around to stimming on them last, last few up top there. I'll do that. A few caravans gone out. Which obviously, the holidays with the kids broke up. So we've done some A in this field. And I'd say three quarters, well after three quarters of the other field. Um, so just wrap the baler back up. I still got to put the sledge back down by you. Had a problem with the power takeoff shaft on this. So I got to cut a little bit off here. It went tight on the uh, David Brown. I'll sort that out. 
Well, that's all. So that's done, Monsieur. Um, got lots more jobs lined up. Tree jobs, big edge job. I'm supposed to be doing next week. See if I can start doing that. Got another garden job Monday. Dad's funeral another Friday. 11 o'clock. I'm not looking forward to that, as you can imagine. Um, got a tree job. Take a fib, pull back a tree. Reduce a tree a bit. Take the branches back. That's my regular customer's job. So a video of that. Yeah, so I didn't know whether to mention my father. But like I said, this is my channel. So I'll show the good with the bad. Video diary aspect as well, these vlogs are. So I just thought I'd pass on what's been happening really behind the scenes. And like I said, it's been a roller coaster ride emotionally uh, with his health. So I don't want to make it too morbid this video, but I just thought I'd uh, put it on there like a bit of a tribute to him. My uh, top over there looking a bit uh, sad. Well, that's how the grass has stopped growing. So I took it off. Once it starts again now, I'll pop it back on and carry on then. My trailer by there. The floor's gone a bit rotten on it. So I'm gonna have to put a new floor on that eventually. But I wanna put a new one full piece on it. I don't like them with a with a join in it. So to look into that. I want to show you this as well. This is my old Ransoms, the M36. I just checked out a red paint on the front I did. We said a few jobs to do it. I think you've seen you might have seen the videos, I done cutting long grass. So this will go back now to that same job again. Not next week, the week after. Like a bit of a field. So I will go orange in the future, which is I had red you. I just wanted to give it a temporary coat of red just to make it look a bit better on the front. It will go eventually to a like Ascaran orange. Close that little thing. I need to do a pucker job on it. And get all the pits out of it as well. Fill all them out. And to put a new belt on it. Pretty much all the belts are good now. Um, we've seen it working, we've seen them videos. I'm happy with it. I am gonna look for a few more of them. This size, or oh, bit, bit, the later ones, I've got heavier front casters. So if I come across one of them, I'm look for it. I still want the belt drive because it's simple. No pumps to have problems with. It does the job for me. Like I said, I've got new blades on it. I've got like Predator blades on it. Um, like Oregon Gator blades. So they yeah, open it as well. Just thought I'd show that. But, um, you've been good my water now, love. There we are then. So some sad times for me at the moment. I just thought I'd share it. My father been with this farm 62 years. As you can imagine uh, the memories. Well, 44 I've been with born yeah. So I just gotta carry on. That's all I can do really. But as I say, I love you, Dad. And we'll meet up again one day. Rest in peace. You're my hero.